Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Far Cry 6. The game is not necessarily well optimized. I know a lot of people is complaining right now. Uh, but it's more like the engine that is pretty based on CPU. So it's taking a lot of resources for your CPU. And if you don't have a good CPU with an, a good IPC uh, instruction per clock, uh, you will bottleneck for sure your GPU. So this is pretty much the issue with the game. Uh, so I will show you how to optimize the game to have like the best FPS, but also to keep a nice image quality because the graphic looks very good. So first of all, let's write game mode in your Windows. Make sure that you're running game mode for the past six months. This feature is really good. Uh, and also it's going to make sure that is uh, the, the game will use the best cores on your CPU. So that's a good thing. If you have like a CPU with 12 core and 24 thread, you're going to make sure that you're going to use your best core to run the game. After that, for the Xbox game bar, make sure this one is at off, causing a lot of issue, a lot of stuttering. So I don't recommend to use that. And for the capture, make sure background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I can recommend is the graphic setting, right? Graphic setting in your search bar, but you will need an NVIDIA card, uh, 1000 series or above, uh, more recent, uh, to make sure that you have this uh, uh, feature. So you have to check the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You will need to restart your computer. It will help with bottlenecks, but honestly, uh, you will get like a... 3 to 5% boost in your FPS, but it's more like for 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, uh, maybe 1070 also. But if you have like a pretty decent car, like a 2070 and a more uh, powerful, you will not see any difference in your FPS. Also, I really recommend to do your update drivers. So if you have like Radeon going on the website, uh right now the the latest driver that they uh they they, they, they update you can uh, expect eight to ten percent boost in your fps for far cry 6 pretty much the same thing with nvidia make sure you have the latest driver it will help you first of all for your fps but it can also help if you have some issue with crashes and stuff like that one more thing that i recommend is the energy so right energy go to power option and make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance on windows um if you have power saver and you plug in the wall and don't use that make sure that you're using balance power saver it's more like if you're uh having a laptop and um you want to save battery uh this is a good uh profile that they can use also they sometimes they have like eco mode and stuff like that but when you play a game make sure that you're running balance or high performance on windows so this is pretty much it for Windows. Now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, the video adapter, make sure that you're uh, using your GPU uh, on a desktop computer. Normally it's not an issue, but sometimes on a laptop, uh, it can be an issue. So make sure that you're using it. For the refresh rate, make sure that you're running the refresh rate of your monitor. So in my case, it's 170. If you have 144, 60, whatever, make sure that you're matching your monitor. For the window mode, I really recommend to play this game in full screen. It will help you a lot. I borderless and window, I'm getting a lot of stuttering. So go with full screen. For display resolution, play your native resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have 1080p, go 1080p. Don't lower your resolution. You will see that your game will look blurry. Uh, you, will more, you will need to change your quality setting or advanced setting. But don't touch your display resolution. After that, display, menu display, that's not an issue. Aspect ratio, I'm playing 16 by 9. Really depend on, again, on your monitor. After that, the quality. So the first one is texture filtering. This one, you can definitely go at ultra. It really depends on your VRAM. So if you have, like, uh, a good amount of VRAM, you will not struggling with this. For sure, if you have 2 gig of VRAM, just go with low with texture filtering. If you um, have something like 3 gig of VRAM, go with medium and high. Uh, you can definitely go uh, after like 4 gig of VRAM, you can go I or even Ultra. For the shadow, uh, nice improvement here. You can expect 3% for each bracket, so a nice 6% boost. But medium to low, I'm getting 1% to 2% difference. The only issue with this one is your game will look flat. So I really recommend to put medium. You will have a nice amount of FPS, but when you go at low, it's like last resort because everything will look flat in the game. So it really depends on what you want to do. 
Geometry and Vegetation, this one, Ultra to Medium, a nice 6% boost in your FPS. But when I go to low, I didn't see a big difference in my FPS. So definitely go with Medium. Environment is pretty much the same thing in Geometry. Not a huge difference between low and medium when you play the game on your FPS. So definitely go with medium and you can expect a nice 3% boost ultra to medium. So definitely go with medium. For water quality, it's pretty much the same thing. When you see water uh, ultra to medium, you can expect a nice 3 to 4% boost in your FPS. But not a huge difference with uh, when you put this one at low. For Terran, again, pretty much like environment. Ultra to medium, 4%. When you go to low, 1% maximum. So I recommend to put this one at medium. Volumetric Fog, this one is a huge deal. When you go ultra to low, you can expect a nice 10% boost in your FPS. So definitely this one, you should start with this one. Just lower Volumetric Fog. Look at your FPS. If it's all right, just stay like that. But this one has the big impact on your FPS. After that, HD Texture, I've downloaded the uh, HD Texture in the game. doesn't change anything with your FPS. Again, it's more about your VRAM. So always look at your bar here. Uh, always like make sure that you have 10% left here. Uh, don't go too crazy because if you maxed out, probably you will have some issues stuttering and stuff like that. So always like make sure that your bar is like something like here. Uh, so really important to look at it. Until easing, this one right now it's locked because I have a special setting in advance that I will show you that will provide you a lot of FPS. But if you don't have access to this setting, uh, just uh, remove the NTL easing in this game. First of all, it will give you more FPS and also your image will look more less blurry. So, uh, but if you are using Fidelity FX Super Resolution, uh, it will be locked like this and I will show you how to do that after. Motion. Motion I recommend, uh, motion blur I recommend to remove it in any FPS game. Just remove this option. Uh, you will have a lot better visibility without it. Uh, camera, camera shake, sorry, and poison and drunk effect. It really depends on yourself. It will not change anything in your FPS. The extended feature here, you have the DXR reflection and shadow. <laughs> don't go, uh, don't put those one at on. If you have like an entry level or mid range computer, it will destroy your FPS. So really important to put those one at off. And the fidelity effects, I'm not a big fan of the sharpening in the, with the, this um, this uh, feature. So I put this one at off. Now the advanced setting. First of all, the V-Sync. I always put my V-Sync off because I'm using the free sync, uh, a free sync monitor. So if you're using a free sync monitor and a G-Sync monitor, uh, don't put your V-Sync at uh, on. Really important if you're using free sync, like. Make sure that you are in the range of your monitor. So, for example, you have a 170 Hz screen. Make sure that you lock your FPS at 168. Uh, don't lock your FPS with the game because it's uh, the maximum amount is 144. I don't understand why. A lot of people now have 170, 240 Hz, etc. So, a bit weird uh, for that. So, use like Radiant software, NVIDIA software, MS Afterburner, whatever that you need. If you don't have a free sync or G sync monitor, you can definitely put this one at on. It will help a lot with tiering. Uh, I did a test on uh, my other computer and uh, I was getting a lot of tiering in this game. Uh, so definitely put your V sync at on. It's, it's not a competitive game, so you don't really care about the input lag that V sync will add. Field of view scaling. I play at 100. This is more a preference, but don't go too crazy with this one. If you go at 100, 110, 120, you will lose a lot of FPS because you're seeing a lot more in front of you. So this is like really depend on your computer. Entry level, mid-range computer, go something like 70 to 80. And uh, a, mid, a good mid-range computer, you can definitely go at uh, 90. But again, when you change your FUV, just look at your FPS, use a software like MS Afterburner. And uh, if you're uh, okay with the amount of FPS that you got, definitely stay with that. The last one, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is the option that if you can use, use it. It's pretty crazy. Put this one at on. I really recommend to uh, to use ultra quality. I'm getting a nice 18% boost in my FPS. So uh, I did a couple of tests for quality, balance, and performance. I don't like it. It's okay when you don't move, but when you start moving, shooting, and you see some action, uh, the image, it's not really great on my computer. So definitely... Ultra quality is the best. 
if you're struggling a lot with your FPS, you can definitely go with quality. It will help you. Uh, but if you have a decent computer, honestly, ultra quality will help you. If you don't have this option, you can also change your resolution scale if you want. Uh, don't go too crazy with this one. 0.9, pretty much the maximum. Uh, lower than 0.9 you will like your image quality will decrease a lot you will see like pixel blurriness and stuff like that at point nine it's not that bad you can expect a nice like seven to eight percent boost in your fps so really depend on you so this is pretty much it uh if you want to test your uh setting you can definitely test in the benchmark to see your average uh fps but honestly i prefer just test it in the game just play the game and if you feel comfortable with your fps and your image quality go with this so you have any question about this game uh, just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace